Okay, cops can also get into trouble, and in this video, we'll be looking at some interesting cam footage of cops realizing that they were going to jail. In this footage, we see a cop sitting in an interrogation room, and from the looks of it, he was in some deep trouble as being asked by one of the interrogators if he had submitted his resignation. The cop then responded by saying that if he could keep his job, then he wouldn't offer his resignation. Have you offered your resignation or not? I can keep my job and no. The interrogator then told him that he couldn't keep his job, explaining why he broke the code of service and he was under arrest for bringing in a cell phone into a correctional facility, which is a third degree felony. Well, you can't keep your job. Of every citizen that we have the privilege to serve, and you've betrayed the trust of the brave and selfless men and women that you've worked alongside for nearly three years. So as of this moment, you're under arrest for bringing a prohibited item, a cell phone, into a correctional facility. That's a third degree felony. In this next footage, this female officer was brought into the interrogation room for questions regarding the murder of a woman, and she seemed to get defensive quite quickly. Now you're accusing me of this? Is that what you're, is that what you're saying? I don't want to talk about this in the squadron because I, I don't know who people are listening. And if we go to my side, everybody's always wondering what everybody else is doing. Okay. The interrogator then proceeded to ask if the woman was friends with the husband of the deceased. And she replied that they were very close friends. She then asked what the questions were all about. The interrogator then said that it was a case that involved the husband, John. Were you guys friends, close friends? Yeah, we're very close friends. I yeah. Mean, I mean, what's this all about? It's a case we're working on. It involves John, and in there, there's notes and stuff that he, that he knew you and stuff. Oh, yeah. I mean, we good friends. Um. The woman confirmed that they were indeed very close and lived in the dorms for about two years. She was then asked if there was any relationship. I mean, your typical interrogation questions. But after the woman said they were dating, she then asked what the question was all about. I lived in the dorms for, I lived in the dorms for two years. Was there ever any relationship or anything that developed between you guys? Yeah, I mean, we dated. Uh, uh huh. You know, um, I mean, is what's this all about? She was told it was relating to John's wife. She then accused them of claiming that she was a suspect already, and she's got a problem with that. Well, it's relating to uh, his wife, and you're right. You're doing this as an interrogation. You're saying, hey, I'm a suspect. Well, I, now i got a problem with, you know, now you're accusing me of this? Then the interrogator asked her if she knew about DNA and if she'd be willing to give a DNA swap. She answered saying, maybe. She also said that she needed to talk to a lawyer, but not without the fear in her expression. So you know about all the DNA stuff and things of the nature that, you know, gets done on cases nowadays. You know, if we asked you for a, a DNA swap, would you be willing to give us one? Maybe. Because <laughs> now, 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 yeah, because now, now I'm thinking I probably need to talk to a lawyer. Anyways, after all the investigations, the woman was later charged and found guilty for first degree murder. We further find the murder was of the first degree. But you won't be found guilty if you subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so you'll never miss any of our latest uploads. In this next footage, a cop is seen sitting in an interrogation room and he asks if it is something that he needs a lawyer. The interrogator asks him if he is comfortable and if he can give a brief description of his upbringing. So he asked what it was all about. Can I ask, is this something I might, I should have lawyers on? So I know that I have a lot to delve into, but I, I really want to get to know you first, if you don't yeah, mind. Definitely. Okay. So I'm going to lean back and get comfortable um, just because, are you comfortable? Do you want to yeah, take off I'm your good. duty belt? No, I'm good. The interrogator then responded by saying that they were looking into some allegations that were first made by a report. I will ask what this is about. Yeah, so we're looking into some allegations that were made. We're kind of, it, it started with a Crime Stopper report, so we're just kind of okay. going from there. Um, so the cop was asked if he had seen the picture before, and he quickly identified it as himself, and he was about 20 when he took it. So I don't know if you can take a look at the picture and just tell me if you've seen this picture before. Oh, I have like 15 million things here. Okay, so this picture right here. Yeah, that's definitely me. I'm the gross one. Okay, so um, this picture right here, how old were you when it was taken? Uh, 20. 20? Okay, cool. The interrogator then told the cop that the photo came with an allegation 
of him interacting with younger females on Snapchat, and the fact it ended in their hands shows it came from someone close to him or himself, but he said he didn't know how it was shared. This photo came up in connection with some allegations um, about you communicating with a younger female on Snapchat. Okay. Can I ask, is this something I might, I should have lawyers on? The cop was then told that the picture came with additional personal information about him and that some of the information he gave added up. He was then told by the interrogator that she wanted just the truth after a Snapchat account was brought forward. He denied knowing anything about the account. Um, so, you know, this, like I said, this photo was um, sent to this person, so they were in possession of it, and we can't find any connection or reason why this photo would end up with this particular person if it wasn't shared by someone you may know or yourself. I agree, yeah. I, my wife would have done that, so I don't want to know why she would share that. So. Well, along with the photo came some additional information about your personal life. Okay. Um, and based on some of the information you shared with me today, it seems to add up. But here's where the interrogation took another turn. The cop was asked if he had ever shared a picture of his private part with anyone, and he quickly replied yes. And not just that, he has done it a lot of times. Jay, I'll be very honest, I just, I want to know the truth. Yeah, no, i never even heard of that account. Okay. Have you ever shared any images of your with anyone? Yeah. Okay. And how many times would you say you've done it? A lot. He was then asked if he had ever shared any video of him having sex with anyone, and he said no. He only had personal videos of him and his wife, and one with his ex. Did you ever share any videos of you having sex with anyone? Wait, anyone? No, I've always had personal videos of me and my wife. That was it. And my ex actually had In our next footage, we see another interrogation room with yet another cop being questioned about an offense with a young female and was told to turn in his activity card and walk through his story again. So we have no misunderstanding because, and maybe I didn't key in on some things, I want you to, you turn in your activity card, walk me through it all again. The man explained everything from how he clocked out to where he drove with his car before making a traffic stop. I turn in my activity card, I leave out the station, turn off my computer, I'm done for the night, head left, go westbound on 50th okay. from Prospect. About a block down, I see a Grand Grand Prix in the outside lane, I was in the inside lane, directly in front of me, car swerved at that time, I kind of fall behind of it. Lincoln, I didn't want to light it up at the, at the stop sign, so I waited till it go forward and just lit it up just to the west. And then that's when I made the traffic stop. The interrogator then told him that his car was pulled out and analyzed, and they found pubic hair inside the car and asked if it was his. The cop said no. He was then asked if it was the female. CSI is processing your car right now. Right. And when we stepped out, they found some pubic hairs right in here. Could they be yours? No, that's not, I didn't pull my, I didn't do anything out there. Did she? No. Again, he said no, that he knew nothing about that. He was then asked more about the female he had an encounter with and what really happened. Do you think they could? No, it's not, no, nothing of mine. Your pubes couldn't be no. right there? No. You seem a little extra worried whenever you talked about seeing her boobies. You mm -hmm. sure she just didn't flash? I can't, she did not flash. I, I don't want to say I can't recall, but I'm pretty positive she didn't flash. I see a pair of titties. She, go, she went like this, but nothing as far as, I don't know, like crazy looking. Lift it, lifting the shirt. I no. This whole situation and uh, just. It's kind of scary. It is yeah. scary. Yeah. He then said he didn't want his rap to be affected as he has been in law enforcement for three years and everything depends on one's rep and he didn't want this to fall on his rep. I don't, I don't want my rep to be, everything's about in law enforcement, I don't three years on, I know that, but everything's about your rep. Absolutely. And I don't want this to fall on my rep. But the cop would have more than his rep to worry about as he was charged with a couple of offenses, including procuring a lewd exhibition and he was sentenced to jail. I'm a procuring lewd exhibition. Count three, 
burglary in the first degree. The defendant is not guilty of the crime of burglary in the first degree, nor lesser included. Count four, procuring lewd exhibition. The defendant is guilty of the crime of procuring lewd exhibition and punishment is set at five years.